a misplaced priority. This is not what we should be fighting for. Hey guys, I want to share something with you and then ask your opinion if this was the right thing to do. I saw a letter. I'm going to read it for you. I'm going to read it out for you. This is the letter Ignatius Ovat Matthew Esquire addressed to Atanganji Paul, Minister of Territorial Administration, Yaoundé, Cameroon. Dear Atanganji Paul, release Brenda and Anastasia Bia immediately. Point one, kindly use your good office and cause the immediate release of the first daughter, Brenda and Anastasia Bia, from unlawful detention in the Unity Palace, Yaoundé, Cameroon. Not even from prison, from the Unity Palace, for nefarious reasons. That Brenda Bia, the first daughter, is allegedly forcibly held against her own will uh, at the presidential palace, at the Unity Palace, not even in prison, at the Unity Palace. So he wrote a letter and addressed it to Atanga Chipo, demanding that she use his power and influence to release Brenda Beer. Then I began to wonder, if you say this country is confused, that would be an understatement. Cameroon is, Cameroon is super confused, seriously. Where we are supposed to be channeling energy, we are not channeling energy there. Where we are not supposed to channel the energy, that's where we are channeling the energy. Like seriously, Brenda Beer, if at all, she's been possibly held against her own will at the Unity Palace. That is Unity Palace. Maybe she's under quarantine or maybe she's under uh, house arrest. We don't know. I don't know where he got his information. I don't know how reliable the source of his information is. But if that be the case, Brenda Beer has a team of lawyers. And if you even look at it, maybe most of her lawyers are not even from this country. She has a lot of money. She can't pay any lawyer in the world. My point is, people who are fighting for, for just cause, people are fighting for the betterment of this country, people who are fighting for injustice in this country, when they're being arrested, nobody will say anything about it. But those who are eating our money, those are the people that people will use their time and energy to be fighting for. The problem of Cameroon is worse than an issue of mentality. See, Brenda Beer has more than 1,001 people that can fight for her, including even the president of this very nation, this country. Why would people leave others who don't have people to fight for them and be fighting for people who have people to fight for them? Does this make any sense? It doesn't make any sense at all. Is it that we don't know what to fight? Or we don't know that there's a problem in this country? We have a bigger problem in this country, bigger problem. The Anglophone crisis has been there for three years. People are dying, including people who are not even part of the crisis, but it's because they're Anglophone. They arrested them and locked them up. Nobody's fighting, Nobody is fighting for them. They're in jail. Nobody is fighting for them. Nobody is writing letters to Atanga Jipo. Nothing. But somebody who is eating our money. Somebody who has people, 1,100 people that can fight for them. That's the person that people are fighting for. Don't even know whether the information is true or not. But people who are in prison, truly, truly in prison, in prison, people are not fighting for them. But somebody that is in the Unity Palace, for all you know, she might even be on quarantine or maybe safe at a house arrest, no problem. In the Unity Palace, in the house, eating good food, they are fighting for her. This country. I don't know what is happening. What do you think about this, guys? Tell me what you think about this in the comment section. I want to know your thought about this issue because it doesn't make any sense to me. Personally, it doesn't make any sense at all. Sense. Are fighting for people who have people to fight for them, and then others who have nobody to fight for them are there. We are not fighting for them, but seriously, this is a misplaced priority. This is not what we should be fighting for. You cannot be fighting for somebody who has people to fight for her. It's crazy. This is my own personal opinion. I am not saying that it's a general something, I am saying that personally, this is not something that is worth fighting for at all. It's not worth fighting for. We have bigger issues in this country, bigger issues that we should fight for. We are fighting over. Uh, trivial issues. We need to start channeling our energy where the energy is needed. But I don't mean to be disrespectful to anybody. But what I'm saying is that this is a misplaced priority. This is not what we should be fighting for. But guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Leave your comment. I want to know what you think about this whole issue. Later. Thank you guys and stay safe.